Hey everyone, my name is Julia and I'm in the Canadian company of six and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a Seymour look. The first thing I always do is I tape out the shape that I want for my eyeshadow just because you want that really clean line. We want to give it that really, really crisp look. This is literally just scotch tape. <laughs> it's not fancy. Then I'm gonna take some uh, concealer that's lighter than my shade, and I'm just gonna sort of prime my eyelids with it. I find that the eyeshadows show up much better if you prime the eyelids with something a little bit lighter than your skin tone, just to really help them pop. And I just use my finger to blend that out. So I'm gonna take this MAC True Black Carbon and I'm just tapping it onto a really compact brush so that I can really direct where the eyeshadow is going. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go along the line of the tape, really trying to make sure it's nice and even. Cross the crease. I'm going in with like a dark steely gray. I'm gonna take it on a really nice fluffy brush like this because it's gonna really help me blend it out. And what I wanna do with this transition color is just like help buff out that line so it's a little less severe. I'm going to go in with a really light, sparkly, whitish silver color and go up towards the brow. And I'm gonna pull that up and out. I'm gonna pull that down into the inner corners of my eyes as well. And I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush one more time to buff out those lines. Again, we don't want any sharp, severe lines. So then I'm gonna go in with a base color on my lid that's gonna be the base for the sparkles or the glitter. And again, this is gonna be covered with glitter in a second, so it doesn't need to be like incredibly accurate. And we're just gonna blend that all out so it's looking nice and blended. I'm gonna go back in with that nice steely gray, add some of that depth in the corner back in since it's been covered up by that base color. So now I'm gonna do an eyeliner. I'm just going in, I'm creating a nice even line across the lid. And then I'm gonna use the tape as a nice guideline to give myself a nice wing. So I'm gonna go in with this flat plastic spatula and I'm gonna pack the glitter on with this. I feel like a Spice Girl. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the tape. <laughs> this is a very fun process with these large talons that I also have. And we're gonna peel it off and you'll see when you take off the tape, you've got this really, really nice straight line there. Normally I would add some of the charcoal gray color underneath, but it's actually kind of already happened a bit with fallout. So I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm gonna buff that through. Then I'm gonna take that gorgeous highlight color that I used from the beginning, and I'm just gonna tap that under the inside of the eye using a nice compact brush. I'm gonna go in with my foundation. So I'm just gonna take that, and I'm gonna blend it all in using a beauty blender, making sure to be really accurate underneath here. I'm gonna go in with a bit of a brush, a nice compact foundation brush like this, and I'm just gonna really trace out those lines. I like to just warm up my face by using just a little bit of bronzer on a compact brush. I use the E rule. So underneath the cheeks, along the jawline, and along the forehead, so it makes the shape of an E. This is something I learned by watching Drag Race. Then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush like this and I'm gonna blend it out so that you can't see those stark lines. I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight to the top cheek. I'm gonna put it right along the top of my cheeks. My nose, right on my cupid's bow there. A little bit on the forehead. Seymour's blush color is very rosy and sweet. You know, the only one he ever loved. And I'm just gonna blush quite a bit onto my cheeks. Um, I'm always, I always go under with the blush and then I always get sent back to my dressing room to put more blush on. So I'm gonna take a brow gel and I'm just going in and I'm accentuating my natural brow. We use these ginormous lashes here at six. The key to gluing lashes is don't put too much glue. I used to smear this on and always wonder why my lashes were sliding. I'm gonna place the outer part of the lash first because then I've got this little handy dandy tool. It comes with a lot of lashes or you can use tweezers, just don't poke yourself in the eye. And I'm gonna put this onto my lash. Don't worry if you get lash glue everywhere, it dries clear. I like to line my lips always because my lipstick likes to really move around a lot. So 
I'm going in with a darker color than the color that's going to go on. Then I'm going to take my Seymour lipstick, which is so exciting. It's called Kinda Sexy by MAC. Just go over my lips. This lipstick for me, for my skin tone, is a little nude. So I get a little saucy, a little bit of Howard on top. Don't tell. Let's tap that on there. The last thing we're gonna do is we're going to add mascara. Putting mascara under to complete that lash look and then I'm bringing that under here as well. I usually go in last with my blush because your girl can't get that note one more time that you need more blush. And that is my Jane Seymour Halloween look. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. I can't wait to see all your Seymour looks. Make sure you tag us on all socials at 6 Halloween.